Yo, what is good, YouTube? It is your boy Teflon Perp. For those of you who are new, make sure to hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Those of you who are returning, I love y'all as always. Thank y'all for helping the brother out. I always appreciate it. This video, we're going to get straight into it. We're talking about how to install the Liberty City mod, which is basically the New York City map mod for GTA 5. Yes, this is an older mod. However, it is 2023, so I thought I'll give an updated tutorial because, you know, some people still have a confusion on how to install it and everything. So let's get straight into it. So first, what you want to do, of course, is download the needed files. So I have a link in the description for how to download the file that I got on my screen on the right, this Liberty City V remix file. You want to make sure you have that for sure. So once you got that installed, what you want to do is you want to open it up with WinRAR software so you can see all the files inside of it. Now, some people would just take one of these um, OIV files and just drag them to OpenIV. That is an option. However, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it as of right now. I would just manually install the files yourself. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So what you want to do for one is make sure you have ScriptHook V downloaded. This is an a outdated version of ScriptHook V. So I will leave the link in the description to ScriptHook V. Make sure you download the newest version of ScriptHook V so that um, it works with your thing. Because yeah, in this file is an old version. So make sure you download the new version of ScriptHook V. Like you actually go to the website and download it. For your GTA game config, make sure that you have the update, most recent version of this. I believe that this can still work. However, me personally, I will just download the actual game config file. So make sure that you download the actual file game config, which again, I have in the link in the description. But for this, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to download it from how to do it from this one, from this file. So you see, I have the GTA config folder open. Make sure you click the latest version, click more mods and you can decide how much traffic you want. If you want more PEDs, which is basically NPC characters in the game, or you want more traffic in the game, then you can add that. But me personally, I just use stock traffic, which is what the game already has. So click that, take that file. All right, you see, we got that open. All right, now here's a file you want to drag it to. All right, you want to make sure that you go to update. This is open IV, make sure you have open IV open, but go to update update.rpf right, make sure that you go to the mods folder version of it go to common data and you want to go all the way down to where it says game config so make sure that you see game config.xml since we got it here we can drag that over I'm not going to actually drop it in here because I already have my game config but make sure y'all drop it in there again make sure you have the latest version of game config I would recommend downloading the actual game config file which I have in the description now next what you want to do is you want to go back to open IV okay so next you want to make sure you go to update go to your update folder where it says x64 you want to click that and then go to DLC packs so you see we got the DLC packs in here y'all see I already got some of my New York files in there but you want to go to WinRAR folder that says DLC packs. Take all of these and drag them over into here. Now, what I would recommend doing first, this is what I did, because sometimes OpenIV will act up and won't extract all the files if you drag them directly. So instead of just dragging them over like this, try to extract the files. Extract the files to a folder and then open up that regular folder and drag them over I'll repeat make sure to extract the files first to make sure that you get all the right for make sure you get all the right files dragged over because you'll go into the game and something will be acting up or be acting buggy you'll be losing your mind trying to figure out what happened maybe it's because a certain file in one of these folders did not extract make sure them folders are in your DLC pack folder all right so that's all you gotta do for that you don't really gotta worry about the extra stuff you can go to here and you can um, download some of these extra files but again you don't really need to next what you want to do is you want to go back to your GTA folder go to update go to update.rpf showing the mods folder of course go to common data and then you want to go all the way down to where it says DLC.xml click edit 
Guys, when you're in Open IV, make sure you already got edit mode enabled. But go to DLC. And now you want to go all the way down, all right, to the bottom of your DLC list. Copy the last line. And then copy and paste it. So you have a duplicate line, right? You want to make sure everything's aligned. But instead, you want to erase whatever wording is there. So you saw it said erase for me. Make sure you erase that. And remember that DLC pack folder where it had all these different names? You want to make sure that you write down every, you want to add every single one of those lines. Road, roads, and why? Yeah, I spelled that wrong. Make sure you spell it correctly because it's very important that it has the same spelling. But you basically want to do that and make sure you add it for every single one. I already have it, so I'm going to delete that. But you guys can see right here in my folder, I have all of these things right here. So make sure you guys had that downloaded because that's very important. Okay. After you do that, then you're pretty much good. Now, again, that was me doing the manual version of it. If you guys don't feel like doing all of that and you just want to use the OIV version, you literally can choose one of these southeast, east, or center. You can choose any one of these versions and you can just take the file and drag it into OpenIV and it'll pop up this window. Click install. And then you want to click mods folder. Make sure to install to your mods folder because you don't want to mess up the you don't want to mess up your actual game folder because then it's a headache to uninstall everything and things don't work out. So just install your mods folder. It makes everything easier. Now the key to this is if you do use this method, you got to make sure to replace the game configuration afterwards. So after you finish installing this to your mods folder, make sure to get the most recent version of game config. So make sure that you do that and everything should be competed from there. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks inside of the game. See you there. Uh, they say this is a big rich town, but I live in the poorest part. I know I'm on a dead end street in a city.